knees, the sand on my tires, the gas getting guzzled. <laughs> gas getting guzzled? <laughs> gas getting guzzled is right, because I'm what? The gas guzzler! And I just guzzled your gas, 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 gas! Are you out of gas, too? I sure am, fellers. What am I gonna do? It's okay, Starla. We can help you get racing again. Yeah, you just need a different kind of energy. Renewable energy! We can get renewable energy from the wind, sun, water, and heat inside the Earth. Well, bust my bumpers! There's plenty of water right there, in the ocean! That's perfect, Starla. We can get energy if we surf up and down on those ocean waves. Come on, let's give it a try. <laughs> Check it out. The energy from the waves can charge Starla's battery. Get ready, Blaze. There are four waves up ahead. Help us surf over them. Count to four with us. One, two, two three, four. Well, I'll be. It's working. Keep surfing, Blaze. Oh, man. No use! I can't stop this train! But maybe we can! Whoa! Robots! That's right! Come on, Robot Starla! If we're gonna stop this train, we've gotta... Whoa! Ah! Ah! The train's so big! Even with our robot strength, it's not stopping! Ah! We've gotta push harder! Right now! The robots are pushing with the strength of one. So let's give their arms and legs more power to push with the strength of six. Count to six with us. One, two, two three, three, four, four five, six. six. Stronger. And the train, it's slowing down. But it's not stopped yet, and we're headed right for that cliff. Hop and hop, Cap. We've got to push harder. Let's increase the robot strength from six to 12. Count to 12 with us. Start at six. Six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten eleven, twelve. Slowing down even more! But it's not stopped yet, and we're almost at the cliff! Ooh, I can't look! Quick, let's give the robots the most strength yet! A pushing strength of 18! Count to 18 with us. Start at 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18! Just in time! And I mean, just in time! Phew! On your marks! Get set! Go!
right behind us? Oh, come on, Slop. Time to do what we do best. Cheat! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look out! Oh no! They knocked out the bridge! <laughs> so long! <laughs> Those cheaters! Oink, oink! Hmm. We can't jump across, but maybe we can swing across with a pendulum! One pendulum up and up! <laughs> Us swing our pendulum. Shout, pendulum! Pendulum! Zippy <laughs> said so fast, but now he'll come and land. <laughs> a long way to the other side. Whoa. What in tarnation? Whoa! Check out all those geysers. They're really blasting a lot of steam. Shoo! Wait! How do them geysers do that? Take a look. Switching to visor view. There are pools of hot water deep under the ground. When they heat up to 100 degrees Celsius, the water starts to bubble and changes into steam. That's called boiling. And when the boiling water makes so much steam that it has nowhere to go, kaboom! It blasts up out of the ground. Hey, Starla, I've got an idea. What if we ride the steam that comes out of the geyser? Well, I'll be. I bet one blast could carry us right across that colossal cliff. Come on, let's look underground to see which geyser's gonna blast next. Remember, when the water starts boiling, that means the geyser's about to blast. Look carefully. Which pool of water is boiling? The middle one, yeah! The water's boiling and changing to steam. Quick, Starla, hop on the middle geyser. Here I go! Let's look for a piece of gold that we can give him. Activating gold trash! Now look carefully. When you see a piece of gold, say gold. Gold! We found some! Hey, Gator! Looky what we found! It worked! <laughs> that gator loves the gold so much, he's swimming away. Uh-oh! Here comes another gold gator! Come on, we've got to hurry and find more gold. Look carefully. When you see a piece of gold, say gold. Gold! Here, gator, catch! Chomp, chomp. at the other side of the river. Chop, chop, chop! Yeah. But to get there, we've got to find gold to give this last gator. When you see a piece of gold, say gold. Gold! Ah. Gold! Yeah. Well, gold, gold! We just have to figure out which pieces we need to make our bridge. Hmm, let's see. To build this first part of the bridge, we need one support. 
in one wooden platform. Help us find them. Which group has one support and one wooden platform? That one, yeah! Stand back, y'all, and leave the lift into me and my brain power! Yip, yip, yoo Way to go, Green Starla! Thanks, fellers. So, what's next? Now let's build the middle of the bridge. The parts we need this time are one metal beam and one wooden platform. Which group has one metal beam and one wooden platform? That one, right! More parts coming up! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Just a few more pieces, and we can build this last part of the bridge. We need one beam, one support, and two platforms. Which group has one beam, one support, and two platforms? That one, yeah! When you've got the right crew, there's nothing you can't do! Oh, shoot! Wait! This cave sure does have a lot of holes in it! And there's something in this one! Something red and hot! Oh, really hot! Darrington, watch out! Well, bust my buffers! This cave is shooting out super hot! We can get past lava. Hey, I know an animal that could help us. An elephant. An elephant? Yeah. Elephants' trunks have thousands of muscles in them. Those muscles let elephants suck up lots of water and blast it out like a fire hose. If we had an elephant, it could use its trunk to blast that lava with cold water and cool it down to solid rock. That's a great idea. But... Where are we going to find an elephant? Hey, Blaze, you're great at building things. What if you made some parts to turn me into an elephant? Yeah, we could do that. Come on. Ha -ha! To build an elephant, the first parts we need are the big floppy ears. To make the ears, say ears. Ears! Yeah, wait, <laughs> would you look at that? Now the most important part, the elephant trunk, for blasting out water. To make the trunk, say, trunk. Trunk! Check me out! I'm an elephant monster machine! <laughs> oh, oh, run! Yeah! Hang on, y'all! I got this! <laughs> It out. The slime blaster shoots slime out of those holes. But maybe we can block the holes with pine cones. Hey, slime blaster, catch! Yeah! Yeah! Good going. Those slime blasters can't stop us. Come on! Careful, Blaze. The other slime blasters are hiding in those trees. 
help us look for them. When you see a slime blaster, say, slime blaster. Slime blaster! Yeah! We got it! But keep looking. There are more slime blasters up ahead. When you see one, say, slime blaster. <laughs> slime blaster! All right! If you see another one, say, slime blaster. Slime blaster! Woohoo! Yeah! If you see any more, yell, slime blaster. <laughs> Slime Blaster! <laughs> Good going, Blaze! I think that was the last of them! Or maybe not! Five more Slime Blasters! Straight ahead! Quick, everybody! Take a pine cone! <laughs> Ready, set, throw! You get them workers out of that glue. Look, all of the glue is shooting out of those broken pipes. But if we plug up those holes, we can stop the glue and save the workers. Good thinking, AJ. Come on, let's figure out what shape we need to plug this first pipe. Hmm, looks like we need a piece shaped like this. Which of these metal pieces has the same shape? The blue one, right! Oh, here, please! Throw it to me! Ah. Yeehaw! That pipe fixed! Wow! Now let's get you out of there! Ah. Hooray! Thank you, robots! Oh, oh, save me next! Look, y'all! Another failure stuck in the glue! <laughs> To save this worker, we've got to plug the hole up there. The hole is shaped like this, so let's look for a metal piece with the same shape. Which piece is the same shape? The green one, yeah! There's only one truck left to rescue. That's me! Uh-oh, but that pipe is blasting out the most glue yet! Come on, we can stop it. To plug this last pipe, we need a piece shaped like this. Which piece has the same shape? The red piece! Go for it, Robot Blaze! And now! Thanks, Robot Blaze! Yahoo! Yeah! <laughs> Everyone's safe now! <sighs> hey, look over there! It's Starless Farmhouse! This way, animals! <laughs> there she is! Blaze, AJ, Abby! Boy, am I glad to see you! Sorry, Starla, the paramedic team is here to help. Come on, let's use our super stethoscope. Yeah, we can listen to figure out what's making Starla so bouncy. Wait, I recognize that noise. It sounds like popping popcorn. <laughs> That's what's been making you bounce, Starla. A popcorn machine! Well, boss my bumpers! That's where that thing went! Hey, animals! Who wants popcorn? <laughs> 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 
If we're gonna catch that train, we gotta find some way to bust down that gate. Hey, I've got an idea. What if we roll something down the hill that can smash through the gate? Yeah, something like that giant coconut. Yeah! Okie dokie. I'll just give it a push. I don't get it. How come this coconut's not moving? I know. It's because the coconut's heavy. And heavy things have a lot of inertia. Check it out. Inertia is the idea that heavy things are hard to move when they're stopped. And they're hard to stop when they're moving. So to get this heavy coconut in motion, we need a lot of force. A force of five. Help us push with a force of five. Count to five with us. One, two, three, four, five. We got the coconut moving. And look, it made a big crack. But to break down that gate, we've got to smash it with something even heavier. Hey, what do you say we try this big old mud ball? Yeah, it's even heavier than the coconut. The mud ball has a lot of inertia. So to get it moving, we need to push with a force of eight. Count to eight with us. One, two, two three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. There it goes! Yeah! Look, the crack just got even bigger. To knock down that gate, we just need to smash it one more time with something really heavy. Well, bust my bumpers. How about we try pushing this big rock? Yeah, that rock's super heavy. It has the most inertia yet. To get it moving, we need to push with a force of 10. Count to 10 with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten! Yee we did it! We smashed through the gate! Uh-oh, this bad! Close? Thanks, fellers. If it weren't for you, we'd have been squished flat. Um, but guys, we've still got to get past that machine. Oh, stuff too big to smash. That's okay, Zeg. We don't have to smash them away. We can melt them. Oh, huh? melt them? Yeah, melting is when something solid gets so hot it turns into a liquid puddle. And I know the perfect machine for melting stuff. A heat cannon. A heat cannon can blast out hot air and heat stuff up until it melts. Oh, yes! Yeah. like Come on, help us build a heat cannon. First, we need a heating element. It warms up the air inside the cannon. To make one, say, heating element. Heating element! Great! Now we just need the fan blades. They spin around really fast and blow the hot air out of the cannon. To make the fan blades, say, fan blades. Fan blades! All right, I'm a heat cannon race car. Snow starts to melt at a temperature of one degree Celsius. Help me use my heat cannon to warm that snowball up to one degree. Say, one degree. One degree! <laughs> Woo nice melt, Blaze! Yoo this raft will get us down the river plenty fast. Come on, cows, hop on! Ooh. 
different speeds. Those are its currents. And if we ride the fast currents, we can catch up with the cows. Looks like the river has two currents. One here and one here. Which current is moving faster? That one, yeah! To catch those cows, we've got to go even faster. Let's check the water to find another fast current. Which current is moving faster? That current, yeah! Alright! Ride them, currents! Look, we almost caught up with the cows! <laughs> we better hurry and find us another fast current! Whoa! Now there are three currents. Which one is moving fastest? The middle current. Let's ride it. Oh! Hang on, cows. Yeah! Huh. Do you guys smell something? Yeah, something stinky. Uh-oh. You don't think it could be... Jr.'s Blaze and the Monster Machines YouTube channel for new videos every week. <laughs>